Aldo is uh, with his uh, adopted father, the, the man that brought him into his livelihood, Liberia, and he's at his first fencing lesson inside his house in, in Genoa, and he's making all sorts of foolish mistakes and doesn't know what he's doing at all. And, uh, Liberia is very gentle and teaching, and like, the sun's like shining in through the stained glass windows coming down into the room that they're in, and it just keeps playing forward as it slowly fades away. So as the Baron's still being pulled down into the marsh, he starts seeing the faces of the souls that he is doctored in the past, like people that he's helped tried to help, and the people that he also took their life force from. He sees them all, like, um, like their faces start manifesting in front of him. The same way when his spirit guardians come around him and like this kind of like wispy form, so he starts seeing all of them. And their, their expressions are blank. They're not angry, they're not sad, they're not happy, they're just just blank faces. He sees them all, but there's no expression on their faces. What goes through Edric's mind, does he? Uh, <clears throat> as he looks at the Valkyrie reaching her hand out, uh, he reaches his hand out to take it, and he feels that one slight pressure in his chest. It's like, there's something a little bit here. Try to hold on longer. And he hesitates in reaching forward. Um, other than that, he just looks around and sees fields and knows that one direction is where he belongs with his family, his forefathers, the other is with the Champions of the Sun, who might actually help him get back to his family. Beyond the rows and rows of sentinels, the terrain rises to a mountain, <laughs> and the sky is just brilliant, just bespeckled with stars and, and color, but night, night and color, they're not clouds, but the wisps of something across it. And there on top of the mountain is a colossal building with huge columns. And it starts to fade. What goes through Matthias' mind as life teeters between the living and the dead? If I were to die today, I suppose this wouldn't be the worst place to go. I can only hope that the others can be able to manage it without me. <laughs> this place does seem very empty, though. <laughs> Matthias sees himself standing the green pastures. You remember those pastures south of Budapest, along the Great Lake, going down towards Skulpa. <clears throat> Huge green fields with red poppies, and just a glorious blue sky overhead. And it fades. <laughs> <laughs> 